Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So for the channeled message reading, it doesn't matter what your zodiac sign is or what your gender is. Absolutely anyone may resonate with this message. I just ask that you use discernment always. It'll help you to take what resonates and leave what does not. So let's go ahead and get started. Actually, let's use the um let's use the modern witch tarot deck. Okay, so we have a page of cups here. Pages are all about communication. Hmm. Like someone's persistently pursuing you, is how it looks. Someone is very persistent in pursuing you. Page of cups is admiration. But pages are all about communication, messages, and news. And, you know, this is someone here who might, um, I'm not sure if they've approached you yet, but there's admiration, or you could be the one admiring someone. It's a personal interest that they have in you. Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. It's happiness, it's joy, it's fulfillment, it's matters of the heart. Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles is someone who's persistent. Who is this individual? Someone here, and again, this could be you persistently trying to pursue someone. Or it's someone persistently trying to pursue you. There's a romantic interest. Yeah. Expectation. Let me see here. They haven't taken action yet, though, because it's a page. So maybe there's been some conversations between the two of you, but not really action like the night. Let me see. Who is this individual? Their energy is showing up as expectation. Or is this someone who's coming towards you? Someone who you can expect to meet? Mm. That could be what it is. Someone who you can expect to meet. I do see this individual initiating a conversation with you if they haven't already. Yeah, distant horizons. It hasn't happened yet. But it looks like, uh, have they seen you though? Let me see. Have the two of you met? Yes. Or you're, you're going to meet. He's showing up as the wealthy man. Wealthy man, concern. Oh, is he worried? An occupation. He works a lot. Wealthy man concerned occupy or or he's worried about his, uh, something pertaining to his career. The wealthy man is affluent, successful. He could be a business owner, investor, entrepreneur, whatever he does for a living. He's very good at it. Okay, um, but it kind of looks like he's worried with concern as pertaining to occupation, privileged lady. Is his job connected to you? It could be that you are, I don't know, maybe you're a client for one of his, his businesses or a customer. But he's coming to see you. Unexpected income, unexpected blessing, unexpected love. Someone here is fancying you and they're about to come forward to initiate a conversation with you, you're their love interest, main female. You're connected to his job. Like, I don't know if you guys, I feel like you, you're connected to his career and finances. It could just be, like I said earlier, just an example. It doesn't have to be this. Maybe you are client or customer to like a business that he owns or he invests in or something like that. You're his, you're going to be his romantic interest if you aren't already. Wow. That's what's coming towards you. Yeah, your new beginning, child. New, but this is a new beginning, Ace of Cups, in love, in romance specifically. 
I see this man coming forward, and for some of you, he already has. For others of you, this is what he's about to do. But I see him coming forward, and there's a conversation that the two of you will have. Message. Yeah, there's a conversation. He's reaching out to you. Looks like he's trying to... Yeah, he knows that you're unhappy. Looks like a, it's, It looks like a setup. It's a setup where, not like someone's setting you up, but it's a setup where you're like a client, a customer, or an interested party in something that he owns or invests in or something like that. So he's using this as an opportunity to talk to you, but there is a romantic interest. He knows that you're not happy with despair. You're not satisfied with something. Yeah, house. Do you live in his house um, or his building, his residential building, his establishment, his company, his office, something like that? He knows you're not happy. You've been having problems with the staff, the employees, toil and labor, toil and labor. You've been having problems with the staff, the employees. Let me see. Yeah, and they're bad. Yeah, you're right. Because they're showing up as thieves. And it doesn't have to be that they're literal thieves, but they're, there's, they're, they are scandalous. They're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. The thief. Maybe there's something underhanded, some underhanded things um, that they're doing. Hmm. Thief. Yeah. Look, false person. Yeah, they're doing underhanded things. Let's just say they're doing bad things, okay? And I think you're aware of it. Something happened. He wants to make you happy. Okay? And understand that anywhere, these things happen in any business, any company, any establishment, anywhere where you have people working, there will be some form of scandal, right? There will be people who don't have the best integrity. It doesn't necessarily mean that the business is bad or the company is bad or the owner is bad or the investor is bad. This seems like a situation where it's the, the people who are employed there who do not have integrity. This man though, He's coming directly to you. Like, it's not like he's sending someone um, to check on you. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready because this man looks like he's very sincere. Like, he's about that action. Let me see what are his intentions. What does he hope to do to accomplish here? I feel like he wants to accommodate you. He wants to make you happy. The thoughts card is he's... He's, it's you. Like, what's his agenda? His agenda is you. <laughs> He's interested in you. The thoughts. He's sitting here thinking about the woman. What a bold move, right? He sees that his love interest isn't happy. And instead of him, like, taking this as a, instead of him taking this as an ego bruise, instead of him taking this as an ego bruise, He's stepping forward, taking accountability to make things right, and also using it as an opportunity to get to know you. It's all these cups. It's a personal interest that he has in you, not a professional one. So what is his agenda? His agenda is to just talk to you. I really feel like this man wants to talk to you and kind of get a, a feel, like a vibe there. Mature woman. The mature woman is the empress. He fancies you. He fancies you. The uh, bad health is here. 
It's a, it's a, it's a hardcore crush. I feel like he knows about you or he knows of you, but he wants to like, I feel like first of all, he wants to hear your voice. He wants to have some sort of interaction with you to kind of feel you out, you know, um, and see what you're like. Change is here. What is this change? Lovers. It's a new soulmate. <laughs> it's a new soulmate. For many of you, this is your new emperor. This is a new divine masculine here. The lovers. Change in the lovers. He feels very charismatic. He feels very transparent. This one, this one here, there's no funny business with this man. Okay, um, clearly something here has happened that has disappointed you or upset you. And instead of him ignoring it, you know, or trying to cover it up, he's hitting it head on. He's removing the problem head on. Wow. High honor. You're leveling up. This is your new soulmate, but with the high honor, you're meeting him at a at a new level. So this this soulmate here is more evolved than the previous soulmate. So he has a much better way. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. He has a much he has a much better way of doing things. Okay. He has a much better approach to things. He's more evolved. Okay, this is a higher level soulmate that you're dealing with. Yep, courtship. And it's also an opportunity to get that romance. This could be someone who you end up having a family with. Family room. Wow. So what are his characteristics? He's a page of cups. Page of cups are people, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is a romantic. You're dealing with someone who's very friendly. Page of cups, they'll, they'll strike a conversation with you. This is not a, a man who has a big ego or big pride where you have to go to him first, you know, before he can talk. He doesn't mind coming forward. Um, this is with the Ace of Cups here. He's very loving. He's very kind. Um, he's emotionally mature. The Seven of Pentacles is also here. He's a committed man. He's committed to the people, places, and things um, that he loves. What else can we know about this masculine here? This man is looking at you as a good suitor. He's a King of Pentacles. This man is looking at you as a good suitor. The king of pentacles could be an earth sign. Ooh, and you're going to like him. You're going to like what you see. He's good looking. Um, but the king of pentacles could be an earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somewhere in his sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Um, he is, the king of pentacles is very loyal, very committed. He, if you want that traditional relationship, you would get it from a king of pentacles because he's all about loyalty and commitments. Um, king of pentacles tends to be very well grounded as well. King of pentacles tends to be very successful. I mean, he showed up as a wealthy man and wealthy man is the king of pentacles. Very successful, level-headed. Um, the king and queen of pentacles are very ideal people. So you can expect them to have an occupation um, you can expect them to have their own home, their own their own car, you know, being financially um, uh, successful, financially uh, responsible. Well-grounded and ideal is who the King of Pentacles is. And with this Page of Wands, I'm telling you, I feel like this man is a looker. <laughs> I'm just saying there's something about him that's quite eye-catching. Um, I don't know if it's his hair, his hair color, his eye color, something about him where you would you would do a, a, a second look, a double take, 
you know? Um, it would be, look, it's like a tower. Meeting this man is like a tower moment. You're starstruck. You will be starstruck by him. And he's, oh, he likes you. Look, the queen of wands. I think he could have even had a tower moment when he saw you or when he does meet you because the queen of wands is known to be very, the king and queen of wands are very attractive people. Um, justice. I feel like you guys are going to have a mutual attraction to each other. Clarify the queen of wands. Hmm. Somebody here did try to mess something up for you. There's some funny business here, and I'm glad that you called it out. The Five of Cups, first of all, whatever the staff or the employees were trying to do, it didn't work. The justice is in the upright. Okay, what's whatever's happening here, the enemy will not be able to cause you an injustice. There's something here with this Five of Pentacles where someone may want to mess things up for you. Like the Five of Cups is grieving over a loss. You could have some adversaries who want you to have a missed opportunity. It's a betrayal, Ten of Swords. Someone's trying to mess, you have adversaries working against you and it looks like they were in cahoots. It looks like you had some employees, workers, staff around you who were also, you know, taking bribes. They were. And they know they've been caught. I felt it with the Nine of Wands. They will have to be removed. Like they're going to be separated from you. The Three of Swords. The Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior. Many, many of them are afraid of what will happen. It looks like they... Six of Swords moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's an ending that they they are experiencing. It's a sudden ending. Many of them didn't think that they would get caught or you would find out. But they're having to, whatever the consequences are that they're facing, um, it's not nice, but they will have to move forward and just learn better. But they're experiencing an ending, a brutal ending, Ten of Swords. Many of them may even have this on their record, right? Messing around with people while you're at work is so stupid because like, uh, this is how you make your living. Why would you even get in stuff like that? But it feels like a situation where they took a bribe. Holy Spirit, tell us about that. Let's look a bit more because I can tell that it's been stressing you out. Um, you, showed up in dis you showed up as that despair card for a reason. Four of Swords, heavy contemplation, nervousness, anxieties. What's going on with the staff situation? Knight of Cups. Four of Cups. Hmm. What did they do? Let me see here. What did they do? The Emperor. Oh, clarify the emperor. Hold on, clarify the emperor. Who's this emperor here? Who's this emperor? Let's look into this, three of swords. Who's this emperor? This may be the person who Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Clarify. Did I mix up the cards? I think I did. Hold on, y'all. Clarify the emperor. The emperor's like a father, father figure, mature man. I don't think this one's good. I don't think this is a good one, though. I don't think this is somebody who's, like, fatherly to you or, like, there's something here. 39 is a dice, taking chances and risks. This one here feels like he wants to sabotage you. Clarify the emperor. Yeah, this one here is a snake. You may have two significant emperors who are connected to you or who you will be connected to, but one of them isn't good. One is good, the other is bad. This one here, this particular emperor wants you to make bad decisions. He's trying to use something against you. 
He's the one who's trying to cause you heartbreak and disappointment. He's trying to betray you. What does he want? What does he want? 34. 34 is the fish. The fish is uh, but abundance and resources, trade and commerce. Is this like a, wait, is this like a, someone targeting you in your professional life? Is it like a career rival or how to put like a business rival, like a work rival or something? Hmm, maybe not. Let me see. Holy Spirit, could you bring me some confirmation? So I want to know why this person's targeting you like this. Is this person a rival? Okay, number nine is the gift. It just doesn't feel personal. It feels like something involving career and finances. Hmm. It just doesn't, let me see here. What does this emperor want? Is it a particular trade? Is this competition? Is this person, is this a rival? Because number 10 showed up, which is, ah, yes, this person is a rival. 31 is the sun. That's a big yes. Like the sword or scythe, the sword always stands for the truth and clarity. It's a scythe. Uh, it's a sharp, dangerous tool, but it's a sword. And then the sun, that's light, illumination. This is a rival. It looks like he may have bribed some sort of workers, employees, or staff around you. They, oh, they shouldn't have done it. I feel like they know that they are wrong. They, they are trying to make amends with you, or they will try, or they did try to make amends with you, but you're, no, you're not accepting their cup. You're not accepting their cup. This was wrong. Um, this man is just trying to be a pain in the butt. But I'm like, okay, what is he trying to do? Because it looks like he's targeting you. What is the point of him doing this? Number 26. Knowledge. Is he trying? I think he's trying to get you out of the competition. He's rivaling you. He's competing with you over something here. He wants to find out information about you that he can use against you. And so he is in cahoots with certain people, not everyone around you. I don't want you to be living in paranoia. Just pray for discernment and pray that God will unmask these wolves in sheep's clothing. There's some people around you who he has bribed to relay, like they are informants to relate information about you to him. But he's trying to gather information. The knowledge card is here to Use it against you and cause you a loss. 23 is demise. This person is rivaling you. Yes, the magnifying glass. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why he's targeting your personal life. He needs information on you personally or even professionally to use it against you and knock you out of the competition. Some of you have been selected for opportunities that you may know about or you don't know about. And there are competitors trying to knock you out of the competition so that they can receive the opportunity. Um, wow. Thirty-seven is the clock. What is the clock saying? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The clock. Yeah, they want to sat there. There's a waiting period here. There's a waiting period here. They're thinking that they can find something on you to sab to use against you, sabotage you, get you out of the competition so that you won't be chosen or you won't something won't be for you. It's, it's, it's something here that they also want. It could be anything. Like for those of you, it could be a job opportunity that they want and they want to kind of disprove you so that they you get knocked out of the competition some sort of offer opportunity for those of you who are in like the business industry it could be something that you want to purchase that they also want to purchase 
It could be something you want to own that they also want to own. They're trying to knock you out of the competition. In the meantime, before it is announced, like there's a waiting period here before I guess um, it's announced which candidate gets what. You know what I'm saying? Is that what it is? Like a waiting period until someone gets chosen for this offer or opportunity. So during this waiting period, they're looking for something on you. They're looking for something on you to use against you. That's what it is. So be very careful, okay? Be, I feel like you should be attentive. You're showing up as a child because I feel like you're someone who could be very creative, imaginative. Maybe sometimes you kind of get lost in your mind. You get lost in your head, you know? Be careful with that because you have some tricksters around you. 19 is the, uh, not 19, 14 is the fox, which is all about trickery and deceit. You have some wolves in sheep's clothing. If you're not careful, I see here you're extremely brilliant minded. Like pretty much a genius is what people probably classify you as. You always have something going on in your head. You're always thinking about something. But don't be afraid to, don't forget to be, to be, to live in the present. Be in the, pre, in the present and be attentive, okay? Uh, be vigilant because there are wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? Um, look, I can't make this up. I just happened to look on the back of the deck, the mask. I feel like what they're trying to do is they're playing the role as informants. They're being paid to find some sort of inform information out about you and relay it to your competitors. That's what it is. Now, uh, lady number two, lady number one, excuse me, is here for lady number one. Hmm. There's a woman here. Showing up with a mask, lady number one. Let me see here. Take a closer look at her, the well. Sometimes, you know, wells run deep beneath the ground. So it could say, yes, the well could be wishes or wish fulfillment, but it could also be taking a closer look at something here. Or this could be your energy. Let me see. Eighteen is the dog, loyalty and support. Mm. There's a woman around you. She's showing up in the Queen of Cups energy. I mean, in the uh, lady number one who reminds me of the Queen of Cups. Very laid back you know, comes off as peaceful, but I feel like she is a traitor. She's two-faced here. The well is saying, take a closer look at this. As much as she comes off as loyal and supportive, the dog, she is not. She's being paid to block you or to try to block you in some way, shape or form, the mountain. She doesn't come off as bad. She doesn't come off as competitive. She's very calm, laid back. But, but, she's doing something underhanded. It is to block you from whatever this is, but it's yours. These competitors should just kind of give it up. You're showing up as number two, the clover, luck and happiness. I don't know what they're competing with you over, but it's yours. You're going to come together with this blessing. No matter what the enemy tries to do, they won't be successful. 24 is the heart. The heart is all about union and harmony. You will be coming into union with your blessing. But in the meantime, during this waiting period, they want to see if they can change that. If they can block you, sabotage you. What else can we know about this woman? I believe that she's afraid. She knows that she's been caught. Yeah, she's stressed. She knows that she's been caught, so she's not actively working against you right now. 
she's trying to pre present herself as calm, you know, like, no, I don't know what's going on. I'm not for the trouble, the drama. She's acting like she doesn't want any trouble, but she was actively pursuing you, working against you. Right now, she's in this 36, the cross. She's carrying a whole lot of burden and stress. She's afraid of what will happen. So these people here who took bribes, they're suddenly playing stupid because they know that you're aware. Ooh, the anchor's in the reverse. Yeah, 38 and 23. 38 is overcoming difficulties. 23 is the mice, a loss. They have to go. I don't think you're going to be tolerating these people, especially with the anchor in the reverse. The anchor in the upright is stability. But in the reverse, it looks like you're going to be letting these people go or making sure that they get dismissed in some way, shape, or form. They got their hands dirty, and now they want to act innocent is what it is. But they would have kept on working against you and taking bribes if you wouldn't have if you wouldn't have caught them. They're not sorry for what they did. They're sorry for getting caught. These are people who present themselves to be innocent and unaware, but they're taking bribes. Yep, that's what. Look, the the owl came up. That's wisdom. That's wise guidance, wise counsel, wise communication. They know whoever these people are that are taking bribes uh, from your competitors or your rivals, they know what is expected of them. So they present just that, but it's a facade. Behind closed doors, they are scandalous. So they know how to do some bad work, but then they hide their hands and, and, and act innocent. And maybe you're not the first person that they've done this to, but you will be the last 25 is the ring and the ring is all about loyalty and commitment um but it could also talk about engagements proposals let me see contractual agreements you see they mess with the wrong one because you're this man's love interest i mean he's seeing you as the mature woman and empress yeah He's seeing you as the mature woman, the empress. He's This man fancies you. He's looking at you as a potential suitor, someone who he could marry. Like a full-on commitment. Maybe even, yeah, look, 17 is the stork, elevation, promotion. Like you have a lot of qualities and he's really recognizing those qualities. You're a big deal. You're a big potential suitor, a romantic suitor for him. And he's not going to allow these people to mess it up. 27 is the owl. I mean, not the owl, the letter. He's not going to let them mess it up. Look, the house card came out again. You're connected to this man's something here with the house, home, building, property, residence, establishment, something with real estate. Um, whatever you have said, he takes it very seriously no that's whatever you have said he took it very seriously but what spirit wants you to know is your new romantic suitor he's connected to where you live the building the community something like that he's connected there's a big potential for marriage with this individual Wow. Number five, the tree, coffin, and the key. Listen, the Man or woman who will get to be with you is a man or woman who has integrity, who has an honorable character. You have some big rivals here who are paying people to sabotage you. 
And if you have any weak spirited person around you who's easily tempted, okay, they will take these bribes and then they get exposed to you and, and they will have to separate from you. Thirty-three, because you know how I saw it. Your previous relationship ended, or it's some sort of previous soulmate connection that ended because your soulmate took the bribe, and so it didn't work out. You need strong-spirited people, people of good character, strong character. But that's okay, because they betrayed you but you were promoted to your next level. At this next level that you're currently at, there is a new soulmate, a higher level soulmate. This one is a strong potential, uh, uh, potential suitor. That's why the tree card is showing up, health and longevity. This one here, this the soulmate here, will be with you for a long time if you if this works out. Like 33 is the key. Because how can you be with somebody romantically who's taking bribes, has no integrity, and trying to sabotage your prosperity? This is some sort of career finance opportunity that comes with a whole lot of money. Like even here with the fish card, it could be connected to not just one industry, but multiple industries or commerce or trade. That is why this emperor here is competing with you, rivaling you. And so how the heck are you going to have a spouse who is helping your rivals? That is, no, it's not going to happen. Or how could you have relatives who are taking bribes? Or how could you have friends who are taking bribes? Whatever is happening, you can see the good in it. Because anyone who accepts this emperor's bribes, that's a clear sign. That's God revealing to you they're not trustworthy. And they don't need to have close access to you, a close connection with you. Because many of you, God is elevating you to places, to high places. And you can't risk having weak-spirited people around you or people of poor character around you. You can't. You need a solid team. Wow. Let me see here. You, Yeah, uh, 15 is the bear. Power and strength. Power and strength, people who have powerful and strong character, and especially people who have a strong spirit. And they're not easily tempted or seduced because they will be the weak link. When the devil can't get to you directly, they'll go through them. That's what this emperor's doing. This emperor can't get to you directly. He's going through the people around you. And I feel like that I feel like that could have what that could have been what happened in like a previous relationship that you're in or some sort of a soulmate connection that you were in. Holy Spirit, tell us about that. Yeah, I know you left it in the past, right? And you don't even really want to look back at that person. But it didn't work out because they did something that was a betrayal to you. I feel like they accepted money. Five of Pentacles, let me see here. Yeah, they abandoned the connection. Five of Pentacles is neglect, abandonment, hardships, and difficulties. They left you out in the cold. And I feel like it's because they took some sort of payout from your rival. Y'all, look, I can't make this up. Five of Wands and Ten of Swords. You have rivals, people competing with you. Ten of Swords, they took the money. And so the relationship couldn't work out. That's what you need to know. They, they sacrificed this connection, the hangman. And so you sacrificed them. You let go of the connection. The magician. 
They sacrificed this connection with you. I think that's what you need to know. But you know what? <laughs> you did a plot twist on them. You sacrificed them. You let them go. You moved on. And now you're secure. Wherever you're at, four of pentacles, you're secured. You're secure. Your, your, your blessings are secured. Your pentacles are secure. Because you had a thief that was close to you. Birds of the same feather flock together. If you have anyone around you who is a liar, a thief, a manipulator, you know, they 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 deceive people, they're all going to accept, accept bribes from this emperor. They they are, but that's okay because when they do, God reveals to redeem. He's revealing to you the ones who don't need to be around you, who don't need to be in your life. Wow. That's what's been going on. This, yeah, you've been, look, betrayals. Betrayals. That's what you didn't know. Mm hmm You didn't know. Two of swords. See this woman's blindfolded? You didn't know. Now you do. But you know what? Even when you didn't know, God knew. And he made sure to disrupt these false people. The, the Any kind of bond that you have with these false people, God made sure to dis disrupt it so that you could walk out of their lives. Because there's no way they will get the honor of being with you. Romantically, platonically, or even family members. There's no way they'll get the honor of being with you while betraying you. So many of you, you experience tower moments with, with certain people from your recent past and it's good that it didn't work out. That was a blessing in disguise because they were one of the people siding with your adversaries. You see? You didn't know. No, I can't. Y'all know, I, I'll never lie to you. The Ace of Swords is the truth and clarity. It's a big yes card. It's a big confirmation card. You have people who were paid. They took bribes to sabotage you. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is winning at all cost. It's defeat. It's surrendering to sabotage you. They took bribes. And you know what? I've said it so many times on the channel. When I was a little girl, I used to think Judgment Day is like, you know, we all kind of float up. This was when I was a little girl. I would imagine we float up, float up into the sky, into heaven, and we wait online to be judged. No, Judgment Day is now. How we respond to spiritual darkness and wickedness, that's how we are judged. Based on how we respond to spiritual darkness and wickedness. How do we respond when darkness is exposed to us? And how did these people respond? They didn't flee from the, from, from the darkness. They actually ran towards it and sided with your adversaries. How do you respond to spiritual darkness and wickedness? When you see lies, deception, manipulation, corruption, and scandals, and sabotage. How do you respond? Do you flee from it? Or do you run towards it? Do you expose it, illuminate it to fight against it? Or do you cover it up and defend it and justify it? Because there's benefits that you believe you're receiving from it. There's some people who will turn a blind eye to evil and wicked things. They, they turn a blind eye to it. Because they don't want to lose their lose some sort of benefit. How do you respond? All of these people here who took this bribe, they didn't flee from the darkness. They went towards it. And some of them even tried to, uh, some of them, some of them even tried to cover it up, hide it, defend it, play stupid, 
They try to trick you so that you won't find out about it, so that it'll keep on working against you. Do you know how evil that is? Where you know that something, someone's doing something to someone and they start making inquiries about it and then you try to trick them. You try to trick them and gaslight them that what you know is happening to them isn't what's happening so that it'll keep on working against them. That is evil. That's spiritual wickedness. And then you have some people, it's the spirit of Delilah, which is a vicious spirit, very similar to the spirit of Jezebel. Some of these people carry the spirit of, of Del, uh, Delilah where they found out about your adversaries working against you. And instead of them trying to tell you or de-escalate the, 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 the chaos, they added more fuel to the fire. They, they became active, uh, active participant. The spirit of Delilah. They saw people plotting against you and they became an active participant. They said, oh, I want to join too. They start being messy. They want to add more to the messiness. Add more fuel to the fire. It's the spirit of Delilah. Hmm. It's almost like even being a false witness, you see somebody lying on someone and instead of you speaking the truth or just, you know, going away from it, you start saying, oh yeah, they did do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember like adding more fuel to the fire, lying, escalating the problem instead of de-escalating it. Because they're, they're bribes. There's bribes that they're taking. Okay. Anybody who wants to block you from what God has for you, anyone who wants to block you from your rightful blessings will be put to shame and disgrace and humiliation. They will experience defeat like never before. Anybody who tries to block you from what is rightfully yours, they will experience blockages along their very own path. Anybody who wants to try to a uh, 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 block you from from the doors open doors that God has that the doors that God has opened for you their very own doors will be closed they want to block you let their path be blocked But do you see what the enemy is kind of helping you out here? Birds of the same feather flock together. Anybody who's joining forces, anybody who's joining forces with this emperor here, it means that they carried the same spirit as him, as your adversaries, and they all need to go and they will be caught. They're being caught one by one, one by one. This emperor, look, he's your rival. Competition, five of wands. This is the third time he's showing up as the five of wands. He's competing with you over some sort of big opportunity. But he can't stop you from this. Look, seven of swords. He can't stop you from this. So what is he doing? He's getting people to... The people close to you to find information on you and report it back to him. They are agents, agents of the devil. That's what they do. The devil sends his agents out there to cause trouble. These people are informants, the seven of swords. That's what they're doing. They're relaying information about you to them. The page of swords and they're communicating it. Pages are communication. They're communicating it back to him. And in scandals like this, these stupid people who are doing the dirty work, they may not even know who this emperor is. This emperor may even have another person getting people to do this. So it'll be hard to pinpoint it back to him. Some of these stupid people may not even know that what they're doing to you, 
they may not even know that what they're doing to you is harmful. They're just taking, some of them don't know what's really going on. They don't care to know. They just want to take the money. Some of them are not even asking questions. They're just accepting the bribe and they're not asking questions like, wait a second, why do you want me to do this to him? Or why do you want me to do this to her? What's going on? They're not asking questions. They're just taking the money and being informants. So some of them may know the complete agenda and others don't know and they didn't care to know. They didn't care to ask questions. The money is more important. It's important that this is happening because when you do receive this blessing, you will have a solid team of people around you. By that time, all the false people would have been exposed and removed from your life. They don't get the benefits of being connected to you. They must go. They must separate from you or you separate from them. By the time this opportunity comes towards you, all of the, 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 the false people, the wolves in sheep's clothing will be gone. And it is a work opportunity. Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. It's a big one. Wow. It's a big one. The devil. And you don't need to know what it is. If you don't know what it is, it's a surprise. Let things naturally unfold for you. You don't have to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. You don't have to know things ahead of time. Have faith and wait on the Lord to reveal what needs to be revealed to you. But in the meantime, pray for discernment. You don't have to be fearful of anything. You don't have to be paranoid of anything. Your enemies have fallen and they will continue to fall. And as they're being exposed, just start celebrating, start laughing, start rejoicing. Because another false person has been removed from your life. That is a blessing. You want solid people around you only. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. This, is, this was a wonderful reading. You have love and some sort of career finance opportunity that's coming towards you. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I truly hope you enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. If you're interested in connecting with me more, I'll put my information in the description box. You're welcome to visit my website. You can make a donation if you'd like to support the channel more. I also invite you all to join my intercessory prayer. Uh, my intercessory prayer is focusing on uprooting evil seeds and removing blockages placed by the enemy. You're also welcome to submit prayer requests. All of that good information will be in the description box. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.